Tonight's Green Report, we head to Syria, where one of the bloodiest civil wars in recent memory continues to rage on with no end in sight. Since 2011, more than 210,000 people, including over 10,000 children, have perished in Syria's civil war. And given the ongoing chaos there, thousands more will likely die before it's all over. On the surface level, the Syrian conflict is all about sectarian rivalries. But research from some of the world's top scientists suggests that climate change might play a role in Syria's turmoil. According to a new study published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, a three-year drought made worse by climate change played a huge role in pushing the Syrian people to the revolt that has now turned into an all-out civil war. Throughout its long history, the Fertile Crescent has battled with water security and drought. Despite the drought, the land has provided enough so that the region became a cradle of human civilization, playing home to many of the first great empires and many of the first great cities. In recent decades, the water supply has begun to dry up or become salinized. Probably caused by climate change and greenhouse gases, the trend is likely to get worse as the global climate becomes warmer. It is predicted that areas like the Fertile Crescent will suffer greatly because of this. What is drought? A drought is an extended period of un unusually low precipitation that causes a temporary shortage of water for people, animals, and plants. There can be three types of drought, meteorological, hydrological, or agricultural. In the case of the 2009 drought in the Fertile Crescent, it was all three types of drought. A lack of rainfall across the region and the depletion of water sources like the Orontes River and the Sea of Galilee left farmers and residents across the region thirsting for water. <laughs> Radical Islamic State insurgency in northern Syria and Iraq following the 2009 drought demonstrate this correlation between water security and political instability. The Mosul Dam in northern Iraq has been a flashpoint of conflict in Iraq. The coveted water and electrical resource changed hands twice in the space of a month in August 2014. It was important for both groups because holding a large water resource like the Mosul Dam was a great power source in a country with limited water resources, like Iraq. In Syria, the drought has led to hundreds of thousands of citizens leaving their homes in search of water and food. But in Israel, the government declared that while they were technically in a drought, it was not an issue for the state or its people. What causes this discrepancy in two countries that are geographically so close? The answer is that Israel has a higher resilience to drought than Syria does. What does that mean? Israel's re resiliency is a product of investment in other unnatural water sources so that in the cases of drought, they will still have plenty of water. Desalinated water, recycled water, and imported water contribute to this. Additionally, subsidies are given to farmers in periods of drought to help them through a difficult growing season. These are the measures that can be taken to increase resilience. Increasing drought in the region is, war is a worrying trend, especially as countries lose resilience to future drought as a result of the political instability. There are many models to predict the effects that climate change will have on the world physically. It would be very prudent, though, to also consider, the, consider and model the ramifications. 